Hello, The Darkness 344 here today. Uh, today I'm going to be showing... Oh my god, messed up. Today I'm going to be showing you this uh, adder. So it's a binary adder and you can add binary numbers. So two no binary numbers because you have an input A and an input B. So you say A, 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 A and B, 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 B. Or input 1, input 2 kind of thing. And you can add them and you get the output right here. And you get your carry over here as well. So pretty small adder. This is a very well-known design this one's used quite a lot actually so i was just going to show you how to do it real quick because i'm in pocket edition actually so yeah if you're wondering what this is structure block oh yes i can copy stuff so pretty much let me let me give you a demonstration of this also i will probably be uploading every other week or every week so don't expect me to upload like every other day kind of thing because I don't really want to get burnt out. Like I've been burnt out before with stuff. Firework. So like, yeah, I've been burnt out before with making YouTube videos and it's kind of a bit annoying. So here we got one plus one and that is two as you can see in binary. So let's try a different number. Say we'll do five plus, yeah, five plus two, I don't know. So five would be uh, four and one. So, yeah, one, zero, one, yeah, and what did I say, two? So that's just one, zero. So, as you can, these are input, these are, oops. oh, you know what, that has to go there, doesn't it? Because they're, yeah, and that should equal seven. So five plus two, yeah, that is seven. Right, so, because four plus two plus one is seven. So, I will start showing you how to make it. So this is a 4-bit adder over here and it will give you out a 5-bit answer. So whatever the binary amount you put in, so say it's only, if it's a 2-bit adder, it will give a 3-bit answer, up to a 3-bit answer, because there's always the overflow. Like this is the overflow here, which is 16. So I will show you how to build just a simple 2-bit one for now and I'll show you how to extend it. So first of all, you're just going to want to start off with two blocks like this and with a redstone torch here and here, here and here and these will be your inputs so this will be input A so A1 and this will be input B2 I mean B1 even B1, A1 and B1, right? Then you'll put redstone here, here and since we want to put the carry line over here and have the ones over here and the twos here, fours here, like that, we are going to go this way round, I think, hopefully. And then you put some more concrete here and here, or any block of your choice, as long as it's a solid block. So, listen. We'll finish this half adder first. So, you'll put a block here, block here, block here, to and them. Redstone torch there, block up here. Yeah, block up here. Like you could always put a redstone torch there, but it's easier to put a block up here because you need your carry line. Once you've done that, we'll finish this one. So, pretty much the same. Da, 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 da. Redstone, redstone. And this over here is your output. So, block, block, block. And instead of going up, you could just put a redstone torch here because you don't need a carry line for this one. And then remember to put a piece of redstone on top to, for the AND gate to work. Then I'll just build another one right next to it to build it on camera just to show you how you can connect them. So you can build it right next to it and your inputs will be A2 and B2. Your next inputs after that will be A4, B4. Next ones will be A8 and B8, like that. So I will just continue building this real quick. Blocks here, remember. Block here, block here. We'll do the same on the other side at the same time. And the redstone here, redstone here, and the torches all around this bit. Let's put the torch here. So once you've got, say, round two adders, then you're going to need to carry the lines across. 
because if you just do 1 plus 1, so oh, I don't really have any space in it. So 1 plus 1, so 1 on its own is 1, right? And it also works for this as well. 1 on its own is 1. So I'd test it now just in case. But 1 plus 1 is 2, right? But look, it's not turning on because the carry has activated, which is here. And whoops. Here. So put a redstone torch on these blocks. And as you can see, this redstone torch has turned on. Which now means that it needs to go into this input to show that it's 2 on here. So what you're going to do is you're going to put blocks just like this. Pretty simple. And you can you just keep using this pattern all the way down throughout all your adders that you're making. Then you're just going to put redstone over. I like to do it like this. Just makes it easier. Then you're going to put redstone on each of the inputs for inputs B on these second half adders. Then, to make sure the lines don't overlap like this, because you don't want them overlapping, you just have to get a piece of a solid block and put it on top of this one. So this one on your second, in, I mean your first input for this, will always be a solid block on top of it to direct the redstone away. So, as we saw, we inputted 1 and 1, which equals 2. So there we have it. This is a simple binary adder, which is fully extendable, as you can see. You just have to continue adding on modules, as you can see. Here's one module, here's the second, here's the third, here's the fourth. And you can go up as high as you want, really. As you can see, you have the block here. Make sure make sure you have that block, or the carry will go up, carry through and activate all of them. And that would not be good. So, yeah, your redstone torches should both direct these redstone lines into them, and it should all work. So, now that I've shown you the basics, this, you also need your carry line for your overflow, because, say you do 2 plus 2, even though this is only a 2-bit calculator, because you have 1 bit here, 1 bit here, it's still going to be a 3-bit answer, because 2 plus 2 is 4. And so here's your answer, which is 4. So always add this line in for your fifth, for your extra bit. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, you get it, etc. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'm out.